Coming up next on iNews at 5, tornadoes turned into a work of art. We know that tornadoes are destructive and fierce, but a work of art? Here's Topper Shuck with details. We think they can be a work of art. I'm uh, joined on the Weather Terrace now with Amy Mark. She's an artist, and uh, she paints tornadoes and storm scenes. And there's okay. an exhibit going on right now, and it's really interesting, I mean, to see, you know, weather brought out like that. Now, what, what was your inspiration for painting tornadoes? Well, I really wanted to make the forces of nature visible. Um, the forces of nature animate everything, um, make everything alive. And as an artist, I wanted to find a visual way to represent that. And the idea that came to me was to paint storms. And as I painted storms, the idea became, you know, bigger. And I painted batter storms, and they evolved into tornadoes. Okay. Let's look at some uh, video. This is from the exhibit. And did you, some of these, did you use uh, photographs? Yeah, I did, in fact. Um, this is from a photograph. Uh, this one is a fictitious town which I put with an actual tornado mm -hmm. that took place in Oklahoma. This is called F4 because of the size. This is a squall. That's a type of cloud formation. This was also from a photograph in Oklahoma. This is the exhibit space here. It's a really magnificent space. This is um, another one that's called Wolf Jaws because of the shape of the cool. tornadoes it hit. This is called Iowa. It's a storm growing and this is um, a more expressionistic piece. Wow, those are really, those are striking. Thank you. Those are striking. And this is at the AAAS building? That's right, yeah, at 12th and H downtown. Um, this is one of the earlier pieces of the ocean and a storm that's coming. And uh, the other one on the right is called Dark Highway. Okay. It's at the American Association for the Advancement of Science at 12th and H. And originally, now, they were going to, your exhibit was going to stop on Friday. That's right. But they have extended it by popular demand until November 12th. That's correct. From 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. Amy Marks, we appreciate you coming by. Thanks very much. And we'll encourage everyone to get out there and look at your uh, exhibit. I'm joined in the Weather Terrace right now by Amy Marks, a local artist. Uh, we've seen Amy's uh, work. She specializes, or paintings, oil paintings, in okay. severe weather. That's and right. uh, I want to tell everybody up front that this month's issue of Weatherwise magazine that's available at bookstores features a lot of her work. Let's get right into it because we are fascinated. We are weather junkies here, but I you're know. not a weather junkie. No, you're an no. artist. That's right. That's right. And I took, it, I took it from the point of view of an artist. I've always loved storms, and I particularly love the excitement and power of right. the ionized air. Okay. Um, but my point of view was really to feel that power and force of nature for mm -hmm. the viewer to really get that feeling of the invisible force that animates the universe, that animates nature. Okay, we're just going to slip through this because we have a lot of paintings in a little time. Uh, this one is the uh, ones in the Dakotas you saw. And this yeah, one... this is in North Dakota. This is after the storm has already gone mm -hmm. through. And that's um, where it's like its rope stage. We call it roping yeah, out towards the right, end of its life right. cycle. And it did very little damage here. This one, I would say, would probably be early afternoon because of the brightness off to the west. Uh-huh, that's correct. This was actually a squall. Mm -hmm. That's the title of the painting also. Right. It's Squall. Some of your work is huge. Yeah, I, <laughs> I know, mean, I huge. know. Take a look at this twister. This one's got to be, what, six feet wide and four and a half feet tall? That's right. And Beautiful. I really wanted to give the viewer the feeling of being inside this storm, that they're alone with the power of nature here. You can't see it so much, my great Ken, but you can see the, uh, the, uh, the effects of the winds on the grass and the blades of grass. You can see the dust, uh, all, everything rotating at the bottom. I mean, the, the, the detail is exquisite. It's really incredible. Thank you. We're, I know we're zipping through here. It's That's not fine. like a real walk in the art gallery. We're doing the best we can. How this one, Amy. I mean, we see, we see the wheat. Yeah, this is Iowa. This is a storm approaching over the field. The wind is blowing. The wheat is picking up. And I really wanted to get the feeling of that power there, the drama of nature coming through. And another one of your large oil pieces here mm -hmm. um, is a town, and they had an unwelcome visitor in this I know. Town. I wanted to show the proportion here between the size of a tornado and the tiny little town, unfortunately, about to get demolished beneath. <laughs> Well, I tell you, this this works incredible. You know, we love in the weather business, um, you know you. the uh, you know storms, and we we do our best to cover them. Uh, in weather wise, they're they're full color. You know, we'll show you the, the color pictures. It's a nice spread, a little background on Amy too, and some of her, her education, Antioch College in New York, uh, or in, Ye in Yellow Springs, Ohio. And uh, I understand that you've never really 
going after a storm, but that's about <laughs> to change. What is this? Are you going to actually go chasing? Yeah, I'm going to chase tornadoes in June. I'm going on a trip with Trad starting in Texas and going north, and hopefully I will see a tornado. Well, I've been enjoyed the picture. I've seen your work before in photographs, and it's just uh, really been incredible to see it up close and personal. And good luck. Thank you. I'm hoping you. that your trip's going to yield more paintings here. <laughs> yes, it certainly Again, will. Again, uh, if you want more information about Amy Marks, here's a phone number, 301-236-263, I'm sorry, 9014. And Amy also has a website. It's Amy Marks at Arrow. Dot com or more about her work and again at any area bookstore uh, you can find this month's copy of Weatherwise it's magazine. Two six three nine oh one nine. Two six three nine oh one nine. All right. Good <laughs> okay. Amy, it's a pleasure Thanks meeting you, man. Very much. Enjoy your work a lot. Thank you. That's it. Mike JC, back to you. All right. All right. That's Thank you. wild. We've all seen these kinds of landscapes. Beautiful sky above earth tones below, but Amy Marks paints weather at its worst. And like the storms, her paintings are ever-changing. That is the hardest thing when you're not touching them up and stuff is to just leave them alone. This Washington, D.C. area artist has painted her entire life, but for the past several years, she's concentrated on the worst weather of Tornado Alley. I started thinking about storms and I was just kind of mulling things over in my mind about different things and this thought just came to me about painting a storm. She's captured a tornado. Amy has gone storm chasing with weather experts, but most of her images are from photos. She leaves out buildings or destruction and concentrates on the massive storm cells only. The titles reveal the intensity or the location, and it can conjure up many images for the viewer. This one has so much meaning for me because the tornadoes that I have seen have been on a very clear day, never suspecting anything. See, what I wanted to create was a large image where you could stand in front of it and the viewer could really feel like they were alone in this scene. You can't help but look at it and you respect it just for the power that it has. Because of the devastating Fort Worth tornado last spring, Amy knew her show in Fort Worth's Thurburn Gallery could cause folks to remember that day. The sky was completely black, just like in the painting Dark Highway over here. The swirl coming down and going up and coming down and going up out of the black sky. It was, it was amazing. I never seen anything like that. I was most afraid that coming here, not being from this area, um, being from an area of the country where we don't really have tornadoes, that people would feel like I was glorifying them. But that hasn't happened. Might be because people here are so considerate. I don't know what they're really thinking. Her artworks range from 100 up to 4,000. Yeah. Why would somebody want a painting of a tornado? Yeah, that's a good question. And I don't know if they do. I, I don't know the answer to that. I'm just hoping that they will. John Prock, Channel 8 News, Fort Worth. Bueno, amigos, esperamos que hayan pasado este fin de semana feriado bastante bien. Eso sí, ha sido un fin de semana soleado y caluroso, pero aquí en el Fort Lauder lo han pasado hablando de huracanes. Les digo por qué en este reportaje. Cuyos temas centrales son huracanes y meteorología tropical, así también como la interacción del mar y la atmósfera.